What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. So the last few months, Sony has been really doing well, uh, mopping the floor with Microsoft, mopping the floor with Nintendo, and uh, probably for the last four months, it's been a slow, gradual incline from the competitors. Nintendo started to really pull out and bring out some great games with stuff like Mario Kart 8, Smash Brothers, the number three selling game of the month last month, uh, and, and just overall, consumers have been more and more excited about the big three and not just the big one. Microsoft has been fighting an uphill battle since the PS4 and Xbox Ones were released because the PS4 came out steamrolling the Xbox One and Phil Spencer got into that seat, the helm of Xbox, and uh, he decided to turn the ship around and he's been gradually able to do that with some Xbox One games that are awesome, games like Sunset Overdrive and uh, unfortunately games like Halo and Master Chief Collection which a lot of people are really excited about or were excited about which happened to come out with some issues. But Black Friday came, Black Friday went and throughout that period of time Microsoft has been able to steal some of that sunshine and this is something I predicted earlier that I thought was going to happen anyway with uh, Microsoft announcing its 349 bundles deal which allowed you to get an Xbox One bundle the white Xbox One with uh, Sunset Overdrive you could get the Call of Duty bundle you could even get the Assassin's Creed bundle which is another game that came out recently uh, to less than stellar reviews but according to NPD and pretty much everybody in the world who follows gaming Microsoft has won for the first time in many many months <laughs> uh, in sales against the PlayStation according to NPD and it's good to see them powering back through this war and not rolling over and giving up this article is on GameSpot.com for the first time since December 2013 the Xbox has once again outsold Sony's PlayStation 4 and it's been a long time coming so you gotta you gotta take off your hat and shake, shake a man's hand when they fight for that long and finally come through with a win. Microsoft's Mike Nichols, corporate vice president of Xbox Marketing, wrote in a statement, quote, We are committed to making Xbox the best place to play, with this year's best games, the best community of gamers to play with, and terrific value. We are amazed by the excitement Xbox fans have shown to start off this holiday. November set a new sales record for Xbox One, and Xbox One was the best-selling console in the U.S. and the U.K., unquote. Response to the holiday lineup of games for the Xbox One was incredible, with Xbox One's fans buying more games in November 2014 in the U.S. than any other 8th gen platform and enjoying over 357 million hours of gameplay globally in that month. In fact, more fans logged into Xbox Live across Xbox One and Xbox 360 and enjoyed more entertainment than any other month in the history of Xbox. We love to see the excitement from our fans and we are grateful for their passion, support, and contributions to the Xbox community. Following the publication of this article, the NPD provided more commentary writing, hardware sales decline, total of 294 million. Uh, compared to November 2013 so they lost some money as far as hardware sales because all the hardware was already sold everybody already bought an Xbox One or a PS4 or a Wii U everybody's buying these things and uh, with the Black Friday sale that, that Microsoft offered I'm, no, I'm not shocked at all that uh, Xbox outsold the PS4 the value is pretty self evident that uh, during that time the Black Friday deal even now the Xbox One is a better deal than the PlayStation 4 with the Xbox One, you can get the console, a controller, and you get a bundle for $349. And now that everyone knows that the PS4 is slightly more powerful, uh, you're actually paying for what you are perceived as getting. A system that's not quite as powerful as the PS4, but close enough. And you get a game for $349. So you're going to save 50 bucks and get a game. It's really a no-brainer that Microsoft would win in November, and I, for one, am really happy to see that. I like to see the fervor. I like to see the sweat dripping, and it makes me feel good that Phil Spencer sat in that seat. He took over the captain's chair, and he's making some changes and bringing people back to the land of Xbox. The NPD Group's Liam Cullihan wrote, while the majority of decrease in dollar sales of hardware stem from an expected drop in seven-generation console sales, eight-generation sales also decreased and represented 38% of the total declines in hardware sales from November 2013 to November 2014. Callahan closed out his hardware notes writing, PS4 and Xbox One sales are now about 80% higher than the combined total of PS3 and Xbox 360 sales after 13 months on the market. So 
PS4 and Xbox One have sold 80% more consoles in these 13 months than they did when the PS3 and the Xbox 360 were released. And that is phenomenal. Uh, and for everybody out there who likes to hate on consoles, the PC Master Race, consoles are not going anywhere. Especially now. Especially when you see that the PS4 is the number one selling game console of all time, or at least on track to be that. For, the, for this time period, it is. For the amount of time it's been released. Xbox One's doing phenomenal. Wii U, Wii U uh, is... Uh, Hopefully, he's going to have a much better year. But this news is something I thought you guys would be interested in hearing. Microsoft pulling through. You know, they're not going to just roll over and take this ass whip, and they're going to fight to the end. I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And you guys always know I really appreciate all the thumbs up and support. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.